Hello everyone, are we really saving the ocean when we buy products that are made with recycled ocean plastic? Indeed, recycling is a hot trend. Companies say that they're tuning plastics into useful clothing, shoes, and other accessories. But does it really work? Contrary to what they try to make you believe, recycling ocean plastics is a complicated process that takes time and money. In this video brought to you by ATEC, you'll see what if recycling marine waste is really a mirage. Stay with us for the rest of the video and we'll teach you all about it. Many are asking the question, is recycling plastics from the ocean really feasible or is it just another marketing method for companies to throw at us? Approximately 300 million tons of plastic waste are generated worldwide each year. Only 9% of plastic waste is recycled and 14% is recovered. Companies have noticed that customers are being more and more concerned about marine plastic pollution. On store shelves, recycled products are everywhere because it's a lot better to sell a product with a green image, but there's products really made of recycled marine waste? Plastic recycling is the act of creating new products from waste that has a negative effect on the environment. In recent decades, some companies have been struggling to increase the amount of recycled ocean plastic in their packaging. Coca-Cola's new goals is its ambition to go from 50 to 100% recycled to renewable content in its plastic bottles. In 2019, Coca-Cola announced its success with the production of 300 samples of new bottles made from 25% marine plastic, which was recovered from the Mediterranean Sea and beaches. Adidas, a founding member of Parley for the Oceans, launched a new line in 2019, Ocean's Ultra Boost Sneaker. 11 million pairs of shoes were made from plastic waste found in the oceans. These enticing advertisements make us believe that every shoe we buy and every time we consume a cola makes a small contribution to the product of the oceans. All these advertisements in order to raise awareness only encourage the population to consume these products. When you look at it closer, is there a real ocean plastic collection going on? According to the National Ocean Service, the majority of marine pollution comes from land. Every year, about 8 million tons of plastic land in the oceans and represent 80% of the marine litter. At this rate, by 2050, we'll be facing a marine future where there are more plastic than fish. The truth is that when plastic lands in the ocean, it's not easy to get out. Of the 200 million tons of plastic that ends up in the ocean, only 0.6% of 1 million tons makes it to the surface. The missing plastic would have sunk and degraded into microparticles. Of course, boats are deployed, but most boats can only recover a maximum of 2 tons of plastic in every one day. Moreover, it is very expensive. Cleaning the oceans is above all a lot of investment for a little result. Another important point to remember is that the ocean is not only composed of water, so when they're trying to capture plastic, we must also take, make sure not to destroy lives around it. Once the plastic is removed from the ocean, there are dozens of types of plastic that must be sorted. We have to separate and cut the plastic that we don't want to remove from the lot and this is not easy thing to do. Plastic that comes from oceans has to be degraded by salt and sunlight, causing it to lose its original quality. The second step is to get rid of the dirt. If the plastic contains more than 5% dirt, the recycler may refuse to use it. Even a small amount of sand, algae, or seashells can be make a plastic non-recyclable. During industrial cleaning, sand can always be found in microscopic level. This explains the presence of ocean plastics and other recyclable materials and products. But quite often, the ocean's plastic is only a tiny part. However, in advertisements, they imply that the products are made of 100% marine waste. Consider the case of Econiol, which is a recyclable and recycled nylon fiber. Econiol markets its knot yarn as being made from only marine waste, such as abandoned fishing nets, known as ghosting gear. According to scientist Andre Stolet, there is literally no ghost gear in these products. If there were, it would be less than 1% or less than 1 per thousand. In contact with Econol with an email, the company says that the ocean plastic is only a tiny fraction of its yarn. Products that do contain ocean plastics are usually handmade. However, products that do not contain ocean plastic, which are industrially manufactured, are about to the same price as those that are actually made with ocean plastic. This is evidence that very little recycled ocean plastic is used to create their products or the plastic used does not come from the ocean. According to Rafi Shancheri, the international distributor of ocean bond plastic, currently on a large scale, there is no such thing as receiving ocean plastic. The term ocean bound plastic is now used to refer to tons of plastic found within 50 kilometers of the coastline that likely end up in the ocean. It applies to exclusive to countries mismanage their waste. It is much easier to collect and produce than plastic and has been in the ocean. Thus, it costs much less. 
Let's look at the price of plastic per ton. For virgin plastic, it costs 762 euros, while recycled plastic costs 870 euros, and ocean-bound plastic costs 920 euros. Through the prices of different plastics, we can see the production cost will be significantly higher if real ocean plastic was used. There is no need for brands to go beyond their marketing, for what they be such a powerful story of cleaning and supporting coastal communities, believes Ravier Skitch. Like large corporations, even small businesses have a hard time proving that there is plastic used in their products comes from. Why claim that plastic comes from the ocean if they don't? Got a bag? A German backpack manufacturer says their products are created from real ocean plastic. To ensure their reliability, they use a network of fishermen and women who collect the plastic that comes from the ocean. But since they haven't certified this stage of production, then we can only say if it's really ocean plastic. On the other hand, what do we know is that recycling only works as a last resort. Using ocean plastic or ocean bond plastic instead of virgin plastic is a win for the environment, certainly not as big as some companies would have us believe. Although it is possible that recycling is a part of the solution. There is no silver bullet to solve the marine plastic waste problem, nor is there a way to increase global recycling capacity. As you can see, recycled plastic is often a lie, and better than recycling is reducing the amount of plastic produced. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you liked it, feel free to click on the like, share the video, and leave a comment to let us know what you think about the topic. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, don't forget to do so and turn on that bell so you don't miss our next videos. As always, it was a treat. See you soon.